everyone we are back today finally building the chicken coop just waiting for my dad to arrive and then him and Andy are gonna get on it the uh, drills on charge ready to go so fingers crossed it's not gonna be a difficult job but as with anything who knows <laughs> I'm hoping it will be finished by the end of today looking forward to seeing it in its full glory and standing up it would be great to see all these pieces come together we are blessed again today with beautiful weather time to get started about halfway well well i'm probably not halfway they're just putting the fox proof base on now and we've just lined up the patio where we think that's going to go job Andy you and my dad worked really hard today got it done in about what four and a half hours I think yeah the roof was tricky instructions not the best to be desired I think a little bit but yeah the instructions could have been a little bit more detailed but a lot of it was kind of self-explanatory really wasn't it yeah if, if you kind of know what you're doing <laughs> but yeah I'm really pleased with how it looks I was just saying to Andy I can't breathe a sigh of relief though because obviously we still have to paint certain bits of it like the front i've just laid these tiles down like temporarily but they actually look all right i think these ones along here are going to stay here but need to maybe sort out a nicer front bit and get some tiles for the back they even put the guttering on as well although i think you need to got a bit of an overhang here and this isn't up high enough tilted high enough so andy's gonna have to oh my god it's thundering is it really? That's a storm, isn't it? We're going to get rain. You no, need to you need to adjust that um, now, so then we can see if it actually works. So yeah, I'm really really pleased. The water butt's going to be down here, and I think we have to get some kind of different. What do we need to get? Just need to get a corner piece on there. Yeah. So we can cut it and run it into the. Oh yeah, so we can put the lid on. Into the top of that. Then Andy's going to drill a hole in that Through so there. that it's all neat cool I am going to need to do some touch-up bits like now it's all together and Andy's put some additional bits of wood on so that he could put the guttering on I'm gonna have to go around and do some touch-up bits Andy also uh, painted half the door <laughs> but yeah it looks really good inside doesn't it the floor wasn't really supposed to be painted but actually... no it wasn't but it actually looks really good it's a hotel chicken yeah it's big in there, isn't it? It is big. Well enough room for four chickens. I mean, this house that fits up to 18, I think, but I wanted to give them as much space as possible. The only thing I'm a little bit worried about is cleaning and this ridge being here, because I kind of envisioned Scoop that I was going to just like scrape it out, but... Can you put something underneath it? Yeah, and newspaper like probably. Pull it out. Yeah, I'm going to have to put newspaper in there. I think if anyone's got a better solution than newspaper, then let me know. I've just noticed this bit as well. I'm noticing all these bits that haven't got what paint on them now. Black, yeah. So you've got to do. A black. I need to get another black paint. You've got to mask that off. I just want to get onto like the exciting bits, like for me anyway, like the, yeah. the getting the chickens, the chicken guard thing, maybe putting some lights around it and stuff. Solar mm. panel. Yeah, you're going to be doing a video on the chicken guard, aren't you? Yeah. You like That'll it, Winnie? The you? only time and last time you were in there. <laughs> oh my god! They're actually going to think this is for them. I'm gonna I need to get a bigger pot for the fig tree 
that's going to look really nice against there. This sign has just made it so cute. Excellent. I originally thought I was going to put it at the front by, by the door, but there's not really any room for it, but I actually really like it there. Don't know what's going to happen about the incinerator. That's going to have to be moved, I think. Although there's going to be a really horrible patch of grass under there. I need to think about what to do next because basically I ideally would like some kind of little storage shed here so that it's got like all the cleaning bits and all the hay and bedding and sawdust and whatnot. This will be like my little area around the back so everything's really accessible and easy. Um, we need to think about how best we can do that. So yeah, it might just mean getting another little shed like we've got there, but just having one over here with all the bits in just to make life a bit easier. And also we need to think about the solar lights as well. We want to get like just put a couple of like small solar lights on the outside. I'm thinking like what well, also one of those or like quite a powerful one like somewhere up here so that because when if you come here if you're trying to do this in, at like four o'clock in the, on a summer's night it's like pitch black isn't it? You mean winter? Winter, so winter's night yeah. Yeah by four o'clock so yeah like, it would be really dark. So you need something there. But then around the side maybe some like smaller solar lights although I don't know where they're going to go because they're not going to see the sun if we put them there, are they? But yeah, well, the lawnmower is here because we, we decided these couldn't go right up to the fence because it's all uneven. So we've left a strip big enough so Andy can take the lawnmower down. <laughs> so that's good. And then look into if we can get some more of these. All that's left to do now, painting that. I think I'm probably going to paint the dust bath. This needs a second coat. And then eventually that might... I might put the veg truck along there, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see what it all looks like when it starts coming together. And then the log can go in, that's the sand for the dust bath. The big annoying job's going to be having to lift buckets of this through <laughs> to fill up the base of the chicken run. That's, uh, that's going to be the next job after the painting's finished. I've got some leftover wood here, I'm going to make a simple chicken swing out of this. Andy picked up this abandoned tyre which I'm going to spray paint pink and have as another dust bath along with that one. I think that would look really good. So Andy's just got back from a little shopping trip and he managed to get some more Culprinol, the extension bit for the guttering and the elusive soft green paint. So I can finish the job. So I'm just sitting here editing my chicken video and I didn't even think about it, but I've got a really lovely view of the chicken run from my desk. So once they're in there, I'm going to be able to just turn my head and see what they're doing when I'm working during the day, which is great. I'm thinking I might get like one of those, um, I think they're made by omelette. They're like portable fences that just go along there so that I can let them out of there and know that they're going to be safe in the garden as well with the dogs running around. This is like the perfect spot to keep an eye on them here. So that's pretty much it from me in this video. Um, I was really hoping to be able to show you the final finished chicken coop in this video but obviously with the whole paint situation that's not happened but what I'm going to do is over the next few days I'm going to completely finish the chicken coop. I'm going to kit it all out, I'm going to get everything sorted and in place and then I'm going to do a big grand reveal and of course a tour, <laughs> the important chicken coop tour will be coming. Be sure to come back and tune in again then. Bye!